Hello golfers, welcome to off-season golf. It's December 20th, it's cold outside. All right, what I want to talk about today is how to shallow the club out. Okay, what does shallowing the club mean? Well, the shallowing the club means that the club is dropping from the inside. This is called shallowing or it's called dropping, right? But there's a lot of language out there that I think is a little contradictory of what you want to be doing with this golf club. First of all, let's understand this. There's no way that you can be Sergio Garcia, who has the most shallow club on the planet. His club gets to here and almost drops horizontal, and you can see that, but that's because his lower body is starting his downswing. And the second piece of that puzzle is because his body, his tension, his wrists are loose. How is the club gonna drop here like this if I have tensed the wrists, all right? So the whole thing is, is that when you take the club straight back, all right, first thing is you want to keep the club in front of your body. You don't want the club to go back here. When you take the club straight back, you're also going to be loading a little bit of your weight into your right side. When you do that, your head should move. There should be some movement off the ball. If I had something here and I wanted to smack it with this golf club, I wouldn't go like this forward. I wouldn't sway away like this. I would load into my right side and then I would travel and create power on the floor. So we want to do the same thing. We basically want to dent the golf ball, right? The way we do that is we take the club, get it straight back to you, and then we're quiet in transition so that when we have loaded this right side and we move from our weight from our right to our left, guess what happens? Look what happened. My club just shallowed. It shallowed organically. Why? Because that weight shift does what? It puts torque on the shaft, which drops the club into a shallow position allows me to go from the inside. That cannot happen if I have super tight hands. So I want to be loose, I'm going to go straight back to you, slow in transition, I'm going to shift a little bit, boom, through, I'm going to get some good contact there, all right, did not pick that ball up, I'll move it back just a hair, I might be a little close to the camera here, don't know, but we'll do the same thing, straight back to you, then I'm going straight up, I'm going vertical, Right? Where am I not going? I'm not going back here. How is this going to get to that? It's not going to work out. Right? So I want to go straight back, straight up, slow transition, slow, slow. Right? Not bad. Got some good contact. But this is the most important thing that you can do with your golf swing is use your legs, use your lower body. You have to get into your right leg so that you can then spring into your left side. If you're gonna throw something, you know the best way to feel this is just pick up a ball and throw it somewhere. This is a perfect golf swing, ready? So I'm gonna shift, how am I gonna, so first I'll do it. And there I am there, wow, pick it up. That was amazing. So what happened naturally in that swing or that throw? What happened was my first, my weight shifted, which means my head moved a little bit. I went into my right side. Next, my arm floated away from my body. Next, I was barely holding this ball. Then there was a quietness and transition where what happened? My weight then shifted to my left side, and then what was wide, which was my arm, meaning my arm was not next to me, what was wide then became narrow and went through. There's another one. That felt like I threw like 100. No, I'm serious. Okay, so we want to do the same thing. So I'm going to keep this simple. Everybody, soft shoulders. If you look at anyone on tour, look at that kid, Charlie Woods. Did you watch that with Tiger the other day? The little cub? Wow, how good is his move? His arms are straight up here, and then at impact, he is like this. Now look where that club is. It's shallowed out. It's coming from the inside. But that only happens with good slow tempo, good footwork. So I'm going to load right. My head's going to move a little bit. I'm going to get some good contact. All right. MarkBellGolf.com. Happy Christmas, Hanukkah, everything. Happy holidays.